Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Milan in Italy. Today a day trip I've wanted to do for years and today's the day. I've been to Lake Garda but I've never been to Lake Como until now. Lake Garda is absolutely beautiful and I've heard that Lake Como is as beautiful if not more so. We're going to find out today, hopefully. I say hopefully because the weather is very different to what it is here in Milan. We're only about 30-40 minutes north but the weather is very different because Lake Como is in the foothills of the Italian Alps. Uh, the forecast is for drizzle in the morning, light showers in the afternoon, heavy showers later on. But we'll try and make the best of it. Now the Italians like to give you a choice of things. Here in Milan you've got two railway stations to choose from. You've got Milano Centrale where I am at the moment. You've also got Milano Garibaldi. At Lake Como you've got two stations. You've got Como Lago and you've got San Giovanni. Como Lago is right on the, the waterfront. The problem is there are no direct trains from Milan. You have to change somewhere along the way. So that's out of the equation for today. So San Giovanni, that's on the main line which heads into Switzerland. I'll be traveling there in first class. Now a standard class ticket is 10 euros 90. First class is 11 euros 90, one euro more. The catch is it's only 37 minutes long, but at least it's easier to film in first class than in standard class for you guys. On the way back, you've got a choice. You can come back either with um, a Eurocity service, which is the one I'm catching up to um, San Giovanni, or you can come back with the regional operator Trend Nord. Their fares are five euros 20. It takes 58 minutes because it is a regional train, a lot more stops. So let's get inside and let's find our train. This is on seriously beautiful station. Absolutely magnificent. But I'm getting distracted. I need to find my train. My train's up there, but no platform number yet. So let's go for a little walk. Well, that didn't go according to plan. I was hoping to go onto the platforms to have a little snoop around, but unfortunately they've got barriers like they do in the UK. So I'm just gonna have to wait until my platform is called and then I'll get trackside. Okay, car 11, we're currently at car 25. It must be a way, way, way up there. That was organized chaos back there. Good fun, but woof, it was busy. Yeah, these car numbers are actually increasing as I go down to the front of the train. I wonder how that works. Aha, first class, car 28. This is some length of a train. I think I've actually walked halfway to Lake Como. Right, all the cars at the front don't actually have numbers on them. Interesting. This is not the Swiss efficiency I was expecting. Yeah, so none of the first class cars at the front of the train are actually numbered. I'm guessing I'm there somewhere. I might just get on. It's only 38 minutes, so what's the worst that could happen?
Tren Italia e gli FFS vi danno il benvenuto a bordo dell'Eurocity a destinazione di Zurigo Stazione Centrale, confermate principali a Como San Giovanni, Lugano, Bellinzo. Next stop Como San Giovanni. Next a halt Como San Giovanni. So is it worth paying one extra euro to travel first class for 38 minutes on a Swiss train? You bet it was. That is one seriously long train. I was watching the, the ground coming from Milan and there's no sign of dampness at all. So the forecast showers and things haven't happened yet. So uh, let's get moving before it does start. I've only been here a couple of minutes and I already love the place. So here I am soaking up the sights of Como. Someone asks me for directions. They were from Ireland. And I was able to point them in the right direction because I have a map with me. How beautiful is that? At first I got excited because I thought this was a flea market, but it's just a local market, very much local, very much just clothes. Being on the shore of Lake Como, Como itself is a tourist town, but it doesn't seem to be overrun by tourists. Of course it might be different in July, but here in April, it's fine. Como just gets prettier and prettier. So here I am wondering which way is it to the lake and I come across that. We must be getting closer to the star attraction. There's McDonald's. Because rain was forecast, it never entered my mind to look into doing maybe a, a lake cruise. Lots of people queuing up. I might go and suss that out. I looked at the timetables, looked to see where I could get to, and I decided I don't want to be a boring old individual but I'm not in the mood 100% because I am so tired I really am exhausted from the the lack of sleep last night but I do have a map and a timetable and I plan to come back I just thought I'd come and have a look at Como Lago station I checked with the Trenitalia website you cannot travel direct from Milan to this station
Well, it looks as if they do go direct to Milan, but to Milano Cardorna station, and I have absolutely no idea where that is. Right, I get it now. Como Lago, down this way, and before it gets to Garibaldi, it goes down here to Cardorna. Right. That's a brute of a train, isn't it? I keep thinking that not doing that ferry cruise was a bit of a cop-out, but I'm totally exhausted. At the end of this Italian series of videos, there's going to be a behind the scenes video as well. Look out for that one. That will explain exactly why I am so tired. Some of the things that happened yesterday, you couldn't make up. It is lovely, isn't it? I'm so glad that it hasn't been raining today because it would have been a total washout if yesterday's forecast was correct. It'd be good to actually come back here, try and do the ferry cruise in the middle of summer. It'd be a lot more busier, but it'd be absolutely stunning. Aha! You can just about see it. There's a funicular that goes up to the top of that hill. I did actually research that and it looks as if it's temporarily closed. But now that I say that, I can actually see something going up. Thank you, Google. It's just gone 2 p.m. and my stomach has just reminded me that it's just gone 2 p.m. I'm here in Italy. What do you suppose I should have? I was planning on having a pizza. I'd heard so many good things about them. But when I saw gnocchi on the menu, gnocchi with pesto and tomatoes, I thought, let's give that a try. It was delicious. Although the place was let down because on their beer menu, they had tenants. That shows bad form, sorry guys. I'm not a fan of tenants. Sue says I'm crazy, but I can actually smell when there's an increase in moisture in the air. It's going to be raining soon. I can just tell. I can just tell. Blair says you can tell the difference as well, but Sue says I'm off my head. It's definitely going to be raining soon. Back at that restaurant, when I arrived, uh, he wanted to sit me next to one of these kind of fires, these outdoor fire thingies. And I said, it's too warm, I have to sit somewhere else. I was actually having the meal in a short sleeve shirt, in a polo shirt. I was the only person showing any arms. You can tell I'm from a northern climate, can't you? <laughs> and we have our first few spots of rain. Told you. Right, I'm lost. Totally, utterly lost. I'm gonna follow that man, see where he goes. Bad idea, he's following his wife. This could be a busy train. I think everyone's got the same idea as me. Head back to Milan before the rain really starts coming down. So there I am standing at the edge of the platform, minding my own business, and a woman comes up and speaks to me in English. How did she know? asking me whether that train that just left was going to uh, Centrale. Now, I, I thought it was going to be one of the green Trend Nord trains, but no, it's actually a Swiss train, even though it's got Tilo on it, which is a local operator. It's got Trend Nord on it, and it's also got the Swiss logo on it as well. How very confusing. But I think if it's got Swiss on it somewhere, it goes to Centrale. If it's just got Trend Nord on it, it goes to Garibaldi. Oh. All very confusing. They say it leaves from platform one, then you get an announcement saying platform six. You go to platform six, it actually leaves from platform four. Um, now the next one, 
shows platform one, but they're now saying it leads from platform three. So they like playing platform roulette here. It's not as if there's a lot of trains. And here we are back in Milan. Things were a little bit confusing up at Como, but we got back eventually. I do have my timetable, so I do plan to come back to Como. I just have to wait until uh, the series of strikes, which Train Nord and other companies are having, are over. Because I wouldn't want to get stranded. I wouldn't want to pay for fares and then find that I can't get beyond uh, Bergamo. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for coming along with me on this adventure. I'm so glad I went to Le um, Lake Como. It does look beautiful, but I'm sure it's going to look nicer as well in summer. See you next time.